Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at what happened to the flags that were on the moon. On July the 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 touched down on the moon. At 10.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Neil Armstrong accomplished another first. With the immortal words, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, or something like that, see our video on that subject here, Neil Armstrong became the first human to step foot on a major celestial object. Soon after, Buzz Aldrin joined Armstrong on the alien surface. The two of them spent the next two and a half hours exploring, taking pictures, and collecting samples. Before they took off back to Earth, Apollo 11 left evidence of their rendezvous with the moon. Besides Armstrong's boot print and a bunch of junk, the astronauts also planted a three-foot by five-foot nylon American flag mounted on a pole into the ground. Subsequent Apollo missions that made it to the moon followed suit. But what happened to all of these flags? Are they still standing? Do they even still exist after nearly half a century on the moon? As for the Apollo 11 flag, when the engine came on and the spaceship shot up away from the moon, Aldrin said he saw the flag get knocked over by the rocket blast. Beyond that, it was thought that there would be little chance the flag would survive on the harsh environment of the moon. From the extremely abrasive lunar dust to the sun's unfiltered ultraviolet rays, the flag most likely would quickly be bleached white and disintegrate. In fact, the flag was never intended to last long. It was purchased from the New Jersey-based flag company Anin for $5.00. 50 cents, which is about $35 today. Anin has been making flags since 1847, making them the oldest flag manufacturer in the US today. The flag was made with basic, ordinary nylon, with no intention of existing on the moon for very long, much less for decades more. In 2008, Dennis Lacaruba, an employee of Anin, told Smithsonian that he couldn't believe there would be anything left. I gotta be honest with you, it's gonna be ashes. Five other, less talked about flags got planted on the moon during Apollo 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Apollo 13 never made it to the moon because, well, they had some problems as you're probably familiar with. These flags were also not ones made specially to survive on the moon, but just ones you could pick up at any local store. Apollo 17, launched on December 7, 1972, featured the last humans to walk on the moon. As astronaut Eugene Cernan and geologist Harrison Jack Schmidt were placing the American flag into the lunar surface, Cernan apparently quipped that if he pounded the flag extra hard into the moon, that it may just last a million years. While no human has walked on the moon since 1972, plenty of crafts sent by various nations have orbited it, taking pictures as they went. As the technology advanced and the pictures became sharper, portions of the moon's surface were seen in great detail for the first time since 1972. This brings us to 2012. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera, or LROC for short, was first launched in June 2009. It spent over three years orbiting the moon and taking pictures with its high-resolution camera. In 2012, images sent back by LROC confirmed that all but Apollo 11's flag and possibly Apollo 15's flag not only survived, but are still standing. By looking at the photos from different points in the day, the movement of shadows confirmed that the flags, in some form or another, are still there. Apollo 15's flag is generally thought to be standing, as there is footage of this after the astronauts left, but the LROC images showed no distinctive shadow for it, as with the others confirmed still standing. That being said, given the other flag seemed to have survived, and it was still standing after the astronauts left, there is little reason to think this particular one disintegrated when the others did not. For that matter, it's possible the Apollo 11 flag is still intact as well, simply lying on the lunar surface. So, what about the condition of the flags? Well, the general consensus is that the colors have probably faded to white. And now for a random bonus fact. At Yale New Haven Hospital, economist Keith Chen and psychologist Laurie Stainos taught capuchin monkeys to use money. Among other fascinating results from this study was an interesting incident where one monkey managed to steal an entire tray of money tokens and flung them around the main cage that housed all the monkeys before it could be caught. The monkeys then all scrambled for the coins. With the temporary surplus of money, allowing for expenditures beyond food, and the fact that the monkeys had no concept of saving, one of the monkeys decided to pay another monkey for sex. Since that exchange, steps were taken to ensure the monkeys would no longer be able to pay one another for sexual acts. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.